so here uh, the classification of rhizopus division is eumycota subdivision is zygomycotina class is zygomycetes uh, order is mucorels family is mucorici genus is rhizopus so we will discuss the general structure of the rhizopus right so many species of rhizopus is uh, commonly grow as a saprophytes over a wide variety of the organic substrates so you know saprophytes this is a common bread mold appearing very easily on the moist piece of a bread it is left at the room temperature already i told you na so here the bread piece bread piece after the expiry date just you will leave it in the at the room temperature after 2 3 days uh, automatically some black the fungus is black fungus is growing on so here it is a some network problem is there just wait
So here, uh, the rhizophus general character, the, this is a common bread mold appearing the very easily in a moist uh, piece. Moist bit, this is the wet piece. Uh, on a bread, it is uh, left at the room temperature. It first appears a small white patches and cover the complete bread as a white tufts. The rhizophus nigericus uh, causes decay of sweet potatoes when stored in the Rhizophus varigae is used in the industries for the alcoholic fermentation. So the rhizophus artocarpi causes uh, fruit rot disease of the artocarpus and rhizophus argius causes in the fruit rot of the pyrus malus. In the apple, in the apples, one disease, the pyrus malus is it is it is the which of the fungus, the rhizophus. Arihyges, it is the causes the fruit rot diseases in the apple. So here, this in this mycelium, it is branched and white, white in color. It is filamentous and tabular, tubular, giving a uh, cottony appearance. The mycelium is accepted and sinocytic. Ceno Vaculated with the oil droplets and glycosin as a reserve food. Here, the rhizophus reserve food material is glycogen and oil droplets. The cell wall is made up of chitin, and the cytoplasm is the granular. Okay, so in this, the rhizophus, the mycelium consists of three kinds of IP. The first one is the aerial unbranched IFA, which run horizontally over the surface of the substratum and divisible into nodes and internodes are called this tolans. It is the stolons. It is the stolons. The the aerial unbranched hyphae which run horizontally over the surface of the substratum and divisible into the nodes and internodes are called stolons. And the second one is branched hyphae which arise from the nodes and penetrate the substratum to observe the food material are called rhizides or hold fast. Rhizides are hold fast. And third one is from the nodes arise towards the upper side many erect hyphae in groups two to five called sporangiophores. In this, the mycelium consists three kinds of hyphae. First one is the aerial unbranched hyphae which run horizontally over the surface of the substratum and it is divisible divisible into nodes and internodes are called stolons. The branched hyphae which arise from the nodes and penetrate the substratum to absorb the food material are called rhizides and hold fast. From the nodes arise towards the upper side may erect hyphae in groups of two to five. It is called sporangiophores. So here, Uh, this is the uh, structure of uh, rhizophus. Generally, this type of fungus it grows in the uh, damp and decaying fruit, the vegetables and pickles. 
it is common growing on the stable bread uh, therefore it is also called as bread mold which of the fungus grow in the bread it is bread mold it is rhizophagus and it is it leaves the saprophytes it leaves as a saprophytes so under certain conditions it lives in the uh, faculty to parasite on the strawberry fruit causing leak and soft rot diseases so it is a widespread uh, genus includes the list eight species so the structure of the mycelium the vegetative plant body is uh, eucarpic and consists of white cottony much branched in the mycelium the mycelial plant body is differentiated into the nodes and internodes you know nodes and internodes <coughs> yes nodes and internodes yes yes sir you know nodes and internodes yes nodes sir and in yes <coughs> nodes and internodes yes sir no yes sir so these are the stolen part these are the sporangiophore palmella the sporangium uh, so here the plant body differentiated in the nodes and internodes the internodal region is the aerial and arching hypae now nice stolon which uh, when touches the substratum it forms the nodal region so the nodal region when uh, when it is uh, appear it which it is touch touch touches the substratum to form the nodal region so the nodal region bears much branched rhizoid growth in the downwards inside the substratum for the anchorage of absorption of the food material so the hypal wall is micro fibrillar and consists mainly chitin chitosan in addition to the chitin chitosan other substrates like proteins lipids purines and salts like calcium and magnesium are also present in the hypal wall so the inner to cell wall cell membrane is present which covers the protoplast the protoplast contains many nuclei mitochondria endoplasmic reticulum ribosome and oil droplets uh, vacuoles and other substances the size of the vacuole enlarges with age by the uh, coherences of smaller vacuoles so these are the regarding about these plants under the general structure of the rhizophores okay next <coughs> asexual reproduction so here the reproduction of uh, rhizophores the rhizophores of stolony for example uh, in this rhizophores stolonifera here it is uh, reproduced by the vegetative asexual and sexual mode so the vegetative reproduction Uh, reproduction is you know so the fragmentation the vegetative reproduction takes place with the fragmentation due to the accidental breakage of the stolon may break into two or more small units two or more small units the each unit is a capable growing the mother mycelium these are the regarding about the vegetative reproduction so coming to so you observe the this uh, figure so these are the example of rise of a stolon effect these are the stolon these are the uh, rhizoidal hype so these are the just you observe the this one first one a is the uh, vegetative mycelium b is the portion of hype under the light microscope so the portion of the hype under the electron microscope so in the last image is also same because these are the same under same under the jigo mycotina or muco or mycorels these two species before one day we will discuss now that is also family is mucoresi so this rhizopus also mucoresi so here 
the effects for reproduction sporangiophore and chlamydo uh, chlamydospores the sporangiospore formation how here the sporangiospore formation during the favorable condition so here the asexual reproduction takes place by the sporangiophores formed inside of the sporangia in the favorable condition the non motile spores are such as the sporangiospores or aplanospores are formed inside the sporangium you know what is the difference between the sporangium sporangia four and sporangiospores already we discussed in the previous class sporangium sporangio four and sporangiospores these sporangiospores it is also called as aplanospores the sporangium develops singly at the apex of the sporangiophore so the sporangia develop at the top of long erect sporangiophores so in the in the previously mucor how it is grow it is the straight like upright part is it, it is the called as the sporangiophore here same the sporangium develops straightly at the apex of the sporangiophore the sporangiophore develops in tuft from the upper side of the node node opposite to the rhizoidal hypae the nuclei and cytoplasm push more and more towards the apical side consequently the apex of the aerial hypae aerial i mean the swollen part enlarges and develops into the large round sporangium this look like in the so to the maturity of the protoplast inside the sporangium differentiate into a thick dense layer of multinucleate cytoplasm toward the peripheral region just inside the sporangium wall called it is sporoplasm and vacuolated portion with a few nuclei towards the center called calmella plasm a series of small vacuoles then appears between the sporoplasm and calmella plasm so these vacuoles become protonate and well form continuous cleavage cavity this is followed by the formation of septum further development of septum becomes a dump shaped and pushes it pushes its way into the sporangium and so the protoplast of the sporoplasm undergoes cleavage to produce many small multinucleate it is multinucleate it is the number is 2 to 10 nuclei these segments are transferred into the globose globose non motile sporangiums spores after the maturation of spores the wall of sporangium dries and calmella collapses like an inverted cup with the irregular surface the sporangial wall breaks in different fragments leaving a portion of collar on the sporangium four the powdery mass of spores are exposed to the atmosphere in ideal moisture and temperature its spores fall on a suitable substratum they germinate by germ tube to form up a new mass mycelia this is regarding about the asexual reproduction of rhizo rhizophus tolenifera so here the asexual reproduction it is in the two ways the first one is the sporangiospore formation and second one is the chlamydospore so here it is the the sporangiospore it is called as aplanospore these spores are non motile unicellular and multinucleate okay so next chlamydospore during unfavorable condition sporangiophores is the is the favorable condition or suitable conditions here it is opposite during the unfavorable condition thick walled nutrition rich intercalary mycelium segments arise by arise by 
acceptation of mycelium termed as the chlamydospores. What is the chlamydospores? The, during the unfavorable condition, thick walled, nutrition rich, intercalary mycelium segments arise by separation of mycelium termed as the chlamydospores. They get separated from each other when the connecting the mycelium dries up with the onset of favorable condition the chlamydospore germinates and gives rise to a new mycelium this is the regarding about the formation of chlamydospore under the asexual reproduction of rhizophus tolanifera so here so what about the sexual reproduction what about the sexual reproduction the se sexual reproduction takes place by during the un unfavorable conditions that means gametangial copulation same like mucor same like mucor so what is the meaning of gametangial copulation yes anyone tell me gametangial copulation yes anyone Yes. Gametes are joined together, sir. Joint mycelium, hyphae, hyphae joints. Sir. Positive and negative strains, sir. Yes, negative strains, and it is after joining, it is look like only one cell. Yes. Yes, sir. So that is gametangial copulation. The mucor also, the sexual reproduction, it is mucor also. Same gametangial copulation or gametangial connection. So this gametangia look like but uh, look alike but equal or unequal in size and by conjugation they give rise to the zygospore. In the mucor also. What happening in the uh, mucors? It is also formation of zygospores. Most of the species of rhizophus uh, are heterothalic, like rhizophus tolanifer, but few species, rhizophus sexualis, are homothalic. What is the meaning of heterothalic and homothalic? Just tell me. Yes, heterothalic. Same, same, both or same. Yes. Anyone? Heteromines differences. Already we discussed. Yes. Hetero. Yes. Yes. Heterothalic. Different species. And, uh, what about uh, homothalic? Homo means same. Uh, mm -hmm. It means same. So that, yes, yes. So hetero, heterothalic, it is nothing but the, it is uh, like uh, mm -hmm. different individuals. Yes? Yes, sir. Right or wrong? Mm. So, homo? Same. 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 It is an individual spore to produce the uh, sexually. So, it is uh, regarding about homothalic and heterothalic. So, what are the examples of uh, heterothalic? Rhizophus tolanifer. So, homothalic rhizophus sexualis. These are the two examples in the heterothalic and homothalic. The heterothalic species zygospores are produced by the union of two gametangia developed from mycelia of uh, compatible strains 
compatible strains. So in homothallic species, the homothallic species uniting the gametangia develop from the mycelia that derived from the single spore. The heterothallic species are cultured two mycelia of uh, com compatible strain come near to each other. The mycelia produce small outgrowth called progametangia. These progametangia we are observed, observed in the mucor also. So the apical region, apical region means the upper region, upper region of the two progametangia come into close contact. The nuclei cytoplasm of each progametangium push more and more towards the apical region, which fill up the dense protoplasm. The rear region becomes a vacuolated. The septum is laid down, laid down separating the apical region, which is called gametangium, and the basal region is called the suspensor. Okay. The region be, uh, becomes evacuated. The septum is uh, laid down in the separating the apical region, which is called the gametangium, and the basal region called suspensor. The undifferentiated multinucleate protoplast of the gametangium is called aplanogamet or xenogamet. The undifferentiated multinucleate protoplast of the gametangium is called aplanogamet or xenogamet. After maturation of the gametangia, the common wall of the common wall at the point of their contact dissolves and the protoplast of both gametangia unite to form a zygospore. The nuclei of opposite ga gametangia fuse together to form diploid nuclei and under Unpaired nuclei gradually degenerate. So the young zygospores, the young zygospores enlarges and secretes five-layered thick wall to in X spore three in the endospore, which undergoes a period of the rest rest period. So after resting period, the zygospore germinates and germination in the innermost layer comes out after cracking the outer walls and produces by the promycelium. So the promycelium is differentiated into a lower stock like germosporangiophore and an upper spherical ger uh, germosporangium. The meiosis occur during the zygospore germination and haploid nuclei from the applied spores like sporangiophores inside the germosporangium. These spores are these spores are also known as meiospores. The each meiospores after liberation of germinates like sporangiophore and forms new mycelium like mother thallus. Sometimes failure of gametangial copulation results in the parthenogenic development of the zygospore. Sometimes the failure of the gametangial copulation, what happening the results in the parthenogenic development of the zygospore by any one, any one gametangium called a zygospore or parthenospores. So this is the uh, regarding about sexual reproduction. So here these are the uh, Asexual and sexual reproduction of the cell cycle, like rhizopus cell cycle. So here the first one is the uh, it is the stolen a uh, the a bunch of the young sporangiophores. This one. So here asexual reproduction. The asexual reproduction first one is the sporangiophores and second one is the Clamidophores. So here, this is the sporangiophore. This is the swollen tip. Young sporangium. These are the poroplasm, vacuole layer, and 
కాలు మెల్ల హలో ఎస్ జస్ట్ వెయిట్ జస్ట్ వెయిట్ జస్ట్ వెయిట్ సమ్ నెట్వర్క్ ఇష్యూ ఓకే సార్ జస్ట్ వెయిట్ జస్ట్ వెయిట్ సారీ సార్ షేర్
so here this is the uh, sexual cycle of uh, rhizophus tolaniferae it is the So here, uh, this is the uh, asexual reproduction of two ways in the sporangiophore and chlamydospores. So here, it is the sporangio uh, sporoplasm and calmellaplasm. It is the uh, sporangial wall. And in the next one, the G step F, G, you observe the A, B, C, D, E, F, uh, this like. It is the formation of sporangial wall in the calmella. It is the sporangio four in the di dicen sporangium. It is the sporangio fours are released, and then the sporangio fours when uh, the favorable condition it is germinate in the new mycelium. So here in the asexual in the chlamydospores, this is the cycle in the germination. In this, the sexual reproduction of. So here. The vegetative mycelium rhizo, rhizoidal hypae. It is the pro gametangium in the two different strains uh, conjugating the isogametangia. It is the, the formation of suspensor. The young gygospores are formed. The, it is uh, comes to the gygospores. The gygospores are germinating the gygospore, germinating the sporangiophore. In the, it is the germosporangium. And after meospore, it is released the meospore germination as a new, uh, new, new mycelium is developed. These are the regarding about the uh, Rhizophus tolanifera. Next, coming to Just wait, we will discuss next, uh, next classes. So, penicillium.
just a minute line okay okay So, uh, Pencilium, in according to our syllabus, the ascomycetes, right? The ascomycetes, what are the examples of ascomycetes? Aspergillus, Pencilium, and Cleviceps, okay? Uh, before uh, we are going to, uh, we are going to discuss Pencilium. Before that, we will uh, discuss the, once again, you uh, just to recollect the ascomycetes. Ascomycetes. They are commonly called sac fungi. Sac fungi. It represents the largest group of so called higher fungi. They are unicellular. It is include 
yeast also the multicellular is the penicillium they are saprophytic decomposers parasitic or coprophilous grows on the dung grows on the dung the mycelium is branched and septic they are reproduced asexually by conidia produced on conidia spores so the sexual spores are called ascospores example is aspergillus penicillium and clavicillin these are the general character of the ascomycetes so what are the type studies here as under uh, ascomycetes penicillium aspergillus clavicillin so we will discuss in the penicillium who discovered the penicillium yes alexander fleming edward yes one second repeat alexander fleming alexander fleming yes alexander fleming and he he, he got yes. a nobel prize also yes okay he got a nobel prize so is very and glory good. and the chain according along with He's, alexander uh, and glory and the chain also okay 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 that that's uh, the main scientist is the alexander fleming okay so the classification of penicillium the first is the division is mycota division subdivision is eumyco eumycotina class is ascomycetes subclass is u ascomycidae series is plectomycetes order is aspergillus aspergillus family is aspergillaceae genus is penicillium so what is the general character of the penicillium so here the penicillium is commonly known as the green or blue molds green or blue molds they are cosmopolitan in the distribution cosmopolitan in the distribution so here the genus derives from its name in the latin word penicillus means it is a bush like structure right artist art uh, sorry artist brush you know artist uh, brush how the painting brush yes painting brush yes sir so the penicillus means brush artist brush the structure of its conidiophores resemble the artist brush we will see in the next slide we will uh, we will see the how same like artist brush so we will see in the next slide so there are about in the penicillium 150 species in the genus of penicillium 150 so it is a saprophytic fun fungus growing on decaying material such as fruits vegetables meat jellies food stuffs leather cloth paper and soil the penicillium the saprophytic it is a saprophytic saprophytic fungus growing on the decaying dead and decaying materials that one is the fruits vegetables meat jellies food stuffs leather cloths paper and soil okay the antibiotic penicillin which was first discovered by alexander fleming in the 1927 the year is 1927 is extracted from the penicillium notatum penicillium lysogen uh, griseofebin another antibiotic is extracted from the penicillium griseo falvum and penicillium requi 40 and penicillium italicum are used in the production of the flavored cheese also so here it is which color it is the blue color the blue mold of citrus and rotting apples is due to the penicillium digitatum and penicillium expansum it is respectively these 
to fungal species in the apples and as well as the citrus fruits the rotting it is the the disease caused by the this pencilium digitatum and pencilium expansum some species of the pencilium spoil the food material spoil the leather and spoil the clothes and other produce mycotoxins like citrinin and rhodotoxin which are injurious to the animals and mans human beings also these are the some introduction of the pencilium and also here and it it did also grows on the preserved fruits and jellies some species have been reported in the grows on the forest floors and few few of them grow on the cultivated and manure ground in the wild species pencilium have been reported a grow upon the damp wood some species cause fermentation in cheese the species of pencilium are obligate saprophytes and can be cultured in the laboratory the mycelia exhibits blue or sky blue or blue green in color on the substratum what are the color of the pencilium pencilium species it is look like sky blue blue green blue color and blue green color it's appear when we will isolate the in the laboratory condition we will go for the under the microscope this color is the sky blue blue green and blue color so you see the these are the growing on the fruit in the first one these are the black spot white spots like this one this is the pencilium species this in the bees the artificially we are uh, growing on the laboratory conditions these are growing in the culture plate these are the pencilium species so next uh, structure of the pencilium so how look like this diagram yes paint brush yes look like it is paint brush right so the structure of the vegetative body the vegetative body is a mycelium the mycelium is well developed and freely branched and composed of colorless slender tubular branch and separate hypae the hypae run in all direction on the substratum and are interview so uh so the hypae run in the all all the directions on the substratum and intervene one another to form of loose network of the hypae some of the hypae ramify superficially on the substratum they produce aerial hypae upon which fruiting bodies called conidiophores are developed so some hypae penetrate the substratum and produce the rhizides which absorb the nourishment nourishment means the nutrition nutritions in few species of the mycelium often forms compact structure called sclerotium sclero hello mahesh sir are mana sridhar rumulu vaadi lo ye peek kontaru mari e sridhar so here
so the hypal cell contains uh, one or many nuclei the glandular cytoplasm and cell organelles such as mitochondria ribosomes and endoplasmic reticulum the penicillium reserve food uh, reserve food material in the form of the oil globules oil globules so you observe the uh, the structure of the these are the conidiophores the conidiophore it is the conidia these are the hype these are the septum nucleus cell wall and sclerotism generally the conidiophores these are the what we called uh, here it is a body like body like structures that one what we called is metulae metulae yes metulae the body like structures of conidiophores is the uh, metulae above the metulae sterigmata is present sterigmata so here the picture is not given another important part is the sterigmata and body like structures of conidiophores it is the metulae it is a branching of the conidiophores so in this the conidia is the formation of conidia is the chain like structures like one by one it is it is look like brush also so here these are the uh, and also some of the mycelium it forms compact structure called as sclerotium these are the regarding about the structure of penicillium so coming to asexual reproduction reproduction so in reproduction in the uh, penicillium reproduction by vegetative and asexual and sexual methods of the uh, reproduction so in the first one is the vegetative reproduction you know every mycelium in the vegetative reproduction it is the fragmentation and the common methods the vegetative reproduction takes place by the most common method of the fragmentation in this case the hyphae break up into the small segments or fragments each fragment grows by the repeated divisions into a full fledged mycelium in some species the mycelium forms compact resting bodies called sclerotia the sclerotia can survive during the unfavorable conditions on the on set of the favorable conditions of growth each sclerotium germinates into a new mycelium so next one is the asexual reproduction asexual reproduction so here the asexual reproduction is accomplished by the most common and dominant method of reproduction called the sporulation there are two types of sporulations in the penicillium one is the conidia formation the conidia formation in this case the ordinary hyphae produces a special type of aerial hyphae special type of aerial yeah, hyphae now yeah. is the conidia force these conidia force are the body like structures each conidia force is simple erect this one this one is the conidia force so here each conidia force is the simple erect branched some of the species unbranched also there so it is broom like structure broom like broom what is the meaning of broom broom chick chipiri chipiri etlu untadamma ब्रांचिंग्रांचिंग्रांचिंग्रांचिंग्रांचिंग्रांचिंग्रांचिंग्रांचिंग्रांचिंग्रांचिंग्रांचिंग्रांचिंग्रांचिंग्रांचिंग
from the apex of the each sterigmata conidia conidia are born in the child the conidia is born in the like mm. look like it is a chain like structures so mm. the conidia are globose ovoid ovoid means oval shape elliptical or pyriform it is thick walled smooth and rough it is a uninucleate and mostly it is green in color in the at the mat maturity time the conidia become a detached from the chain and are carried by wind to different substrata when it is the detached from the conidia so here these are the first how it is formation it is a look like chain when maturity the conidia become a detached from the chain they are carried by the wind to different substrata under the favorable condition each conidium germinates by producing the germ tube thus producing a new mycelium like this one these are the germinating conidia these are the conidia when these conidia are uh, germinate uh, detached from the chains so the formation is a look like chain but the germination the, the detaching is individually individual conidias next odia formation the mycelia when made of grow immersed the sugary solution divided by the additional septa into a short uninucleate uh, uninucleate segments these segments later become a rounded and separates as a thin walled spore like structures called odiospores and odia on a solid medium each odium germinates in the produce the a new mycelium these are the odia formation here conidia formation these are the asexual reproduction of the penicillium no data no. so next sexual reproduction the sexual reproduction of penicillium the so, most species of the penicillium are thalic pure the heterothalic in both homothalic and heterothalic species the sexual reproduction takes place in the production of gametangia production of gametangia the female gametangia is known as the ascogonia just in this uh, the penicillium is terminology is very very important in the sexual reproduction the most of the species penicillium is are the homothalic few are the heterothalic in both homothalic and heterothalic species the sexual reproduction takes place by the production of the gametangia the female gametangia what we called in the ascogonia well the male gametangia are known as the antheridia in homothalic both antheridia and ascogonia are produced from the same thallus or from the different thalli of the same mycelium so here how formation of ascogonium and antheridium each ascogonium is a long erect multi nucleate unsepted tubular structure arising laterally laterally means side by side nunchi laterally from any cell of the vegetative mycelium this ascogonium uh, developed from the vegetative mycelium at its upper end it may be curved like curved means it is some uh, there is no straight curved means in the up uh, up down so here it is a uh, structure arising the laterally from any cell of the vegetative mycelium it is upper end it may be curved like the handle of the umbrella an umbrella when young the ascogonium is a uninucleate as it elongates the single nucleus divides and redivides to give rise a definite number of the dotted nuclei which is either 32 or 64 the ascogonium produces the ascospore what we call the ascogonium produces the ascospores this is the dot the, uh, this is the daughter nuclei it is either 32 or 64 it is look like the arrangement of these ascospores look like the wheel in the wheel how nuts are fitting in the wheel same like this the arrangement of 32 and 64 next antheridium each antheridium is a short slender terminal club shaped club club shaped 
uninucleated structure it originates either from the adjacent cell or the same hypa which gives rise to the ascogonium or form a separate neighboring hypa it grows up piling loosely around the ascogonium making several turns about it the distal end of the male branch became a high uh, tightly inflated inflated and it's eventually cut off the antheridium by a septum these are the formation of antheridium next plasmogamy plasmogamy it is the union of two protoplast which brings a compatible nuclei close together in the same cell plasmogamy means in the union of two protoplast which brings the compatible nuclei close together in the same cell the tip of the antheridium comes in contact with the ascogonium at the point of contact the double wall dissolves and pore is uh, developed between the two cells through the common pore the protoplast comes to the ascogonium next to the pairing of the female nuclei takes place the term which is called autogamy each pair is called dicaryon with is establishment of the dicaryons in the haplophase ends and the diplophase starts in the life cycle so here <coughs> the formation of ascogenous hypa asci and karyogamy formation of ascogenous hypa asci and karyogamy the plasmogamy or autogamy is followed by the separation of the ascogonium each segment of pair of nuclei the pair means is dicaryon the sterile hypa grow grow up in the around the sexual apparatus and form loosely interwoven hypa called peridium which afford protect protection to the structures uh, developing the within the this uh, ip as a results of plasmogamy or autogamy one or more lateral outgrowths arise from the binucleate segments of the ascogonium each outgrowth is known as ascogenous initial each of which develops into a branch of ascogonous hypa it is composed by binucleate cells from the binucleate cells of each ascogonium hypa it is asci it is a singular ascus are developed terminal in the short chains the two nuclei event uh, eventually fuse inside the ascus this is called the karyogamy the formation of ascospores after karyogamy the young asks uh, begins to enlarge its diploid nucleus under the three successive divisions the first and second divisions is mitotic and the third division is the mitotic the results in the eight applied nuclear a small amount of cytoplasm is gathered around each daughter each daughter nucleus which is uh, metaphorized into the ascospores so discharge and germination of ascospores at the maturity the wall of the ascus dissolves and ascospores are released by the decay for the other wall of the peridium so the libertators of the ascospores remain dominant dormant when temperature and moisture conditions are low and air supply is restricted on falling and the suitable substratum under the suitable condition each ascospore germinate to form a new mycelium these are the regarding about the sexual reproduction in the penicillium asco formation of ascogonium formation of antheridium and it is also in the plasmogamy the formation of ascogenous hypa asci and karyogamy and formation of ascospores discharge and germination of the ascospores these are the penicillium sexual reproduction in the early stages eng ascogonium in the b is the female uh, branch it is the hypa the c is the male initial the d is the antheridium e is the sterile hypa it is antheridium mature ascogonium so here sterile hypa these are the sterile hypa this part is called the cleistothecium these are the asci these are the ascospores 
the arrangement is 32 or 64 like wheel in a wheel the nuts how to nuts to see the wheel same like this uh, this one see the aspect force ask and clistothesium so some of the economic important of the pencilium so pencilium are the uh, very very useful medicinal in the uh, medicinal uses are there so it is the best antibiotic drug penicillin is obtained from the pencilium notatum and pencilium trisogenum pencilium grisio fulmum it is, these are the very very important in the gk purpose and in your exam purpose also many times uh, ask this question the penicillin isolated from penicillin obtained from penicillium notatum penicillium chrysogenum penicillium grisio fulmum it produced the antibiotic that named is grisio fulmin it is also antifungal drug so some species are used in the industrial processes such as in the production of the organic acids like citric acid gluconic acid fumaric acid and glycerol this it is the organic acid especially organic acid through the penicillium thesis penicillium thesis So here, uh, the next one is the, the penicillium requi 40 and penicillium uh, camemberti are used in the fermentation of cheese, which gives not only color and texture, not only color and texture, but also import distinctive order and flavor also. The penicillia also cause economic loss by damaging the stored fruits the penicillium digitatum and penicillium expansum attack the fruits, cause the rot and decay of lemon, orange and other stored vegetables because of the penicillium, the penicillium digitatum and penicillium expansum. So the fungi are also responsible for the damage of the leather, leather goods, fabric and furniture under damp conditions. The wood of doors, windows, household furniture gets spoiled by the attack of the this type of fungi. And also, the penicillium divaricatum causes yellow stain of hardwood stored in the rice turns yellow. It is due to the growth of penicillium and it causes mycotoxins in the human beings. So, the penicillium is the negative importance. It is attacks the destroy of the fruits and leather fabrics. So the so here one important is the sometimes the the question asking the clistothesium. Yeah, the clistothesium is nothing but the fruiting body. Nothing but the fruiting body. So here the clistothesium is a fruiting body formed after the fertilization. So it is uh, completely closed throughout all stages of the development. Globose ASCII are irregularly distributed inside the closed fruiting body. So ASCII are liberated after the uh, spilting of the disintegration of the fruit wall. Each ASCII has four uninucleate applied ascospores, which resemble Pulley wheels. It, what is the arrangement already I told you? Which is resemble <coughs> pulley wheels like structures are there. So these are the uh, regarding about the penicillium general structure. And uh, one more thing here. So the sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction is the cell cycle. The cell cycle also uh, important. So just a minute. So the sexual reproduction of in the first one is the vegetative uh, my, mycelium. Just wait, I will show the some life cycle.
so this one um, so first the, the upper part is the uh, asexual reproduction the conidiophores ramus metule sterigmata the conidium these parts then it is the uh, detached from the conidia from the uh, conidia force so then it is the germinating spore conidium and it is the vegetative mycelium it is the young ascogonium then it is uh, ascogonium and antheridial branch next this is the antheridium ascogonium and next this part is the sterile hypae next this one is the branch ascogenous hypa it is the terminal binu terminal binucleate cell this ascogenous bud these are the ascogenous bud here ascus mother cells here young ascus it is the two nucleate then it is the ascus and ascospores and then it is the clistothecium it is the fruiting body then after formation of clisto clistothecium it is the as ascospores are released then as once released the ascospores they are germinate ger germination of the germination starts then it is growing up a, a new mycelium these are the uh, life cycle sexual reproduction of uh, penicillium and asexual reproduction of penicillium these are the uh, today class okay so thank you yes any doubts yes thank you thank you sir